This device is called a Leyden jar, or a Leiden jar. It's an electrical energy storage device, very much like a capacitor, and this particular one is dissectable. But unlike a battery, the Leyden jar doesn't store chemical potential energy. Instead, the energy is stored by the separation of positive and negative charge. It's then released when the two charges are brought back into contact. Between the two metal cups is an insulating plastic cup, or glass jar, that prevents short circuits. In capacitor theory, this is usually called the dielectric. Now it's time to charge it up, but before you do, I have to warn you not to connect your fingers or any body part across these two metal parts when it's charged. If you do, you might get a very painful shock. My favorite way is to charge it with a fun fly stick, which is a mini Van de Graaff generator. The most common way is to hold it to a Van de Graaff generator and charge it directly. On please. Off please. But this can be painful if you accidentally get shocked. Notice that my body was the source of charge for the outside electrode. There are a few other ways to charge up the Leiden jar, but I found them less reliable. Alright, that was a complete failure. Now it's time for a demonstration, and Jason is going to help me. First, I charged up the Leyden jar and make sure that it's working. Then I charge it again and dissect it. Here you go. Here you go and touch those together. All right. Then we reassemble. And When we first charged up the Leiden jar, most of the charge was on the inside surfaces of the metals, hugging the plastic. So then when we separate the pieces, the charge remains stuck on the plastic, and charge can't move on an insulator. So then when we reassemble, most of the charge is still there. This time, I'm going to wipe off the charge. So that way, when I reassemble, no significant discharge occurs. I suppose that the best time to use the Leyden jar is probably when you're introducing capacitors. It has the capacity to store charge and energy, and the bigger the jar, the larger the metal parts, and the larger the capacitance. But the behavior of the jar, with insulators and conductors and the separation of positive and negative charge, are well illustrated by the Leyden jar, so it might be wise to introduce it earlier, as part of the history of how electricity was first understood.